Hey everybody, it's Brian, and it is very late at night, I can't sleep, so like many of you, I thought I would get on the internet and waste some time. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of feedback from people saying, hey dude, where are you? You haven't seen a video from you in like a hundred billion years. Did you stop making videos? What's going on? No, I have not stopped making videos. I've actually been uh, working with Cute.io. They are the company that owns Cute, and I've been making some official videos for them. So if you go to Cute Studios and you click on Playlists, and you'll see this tutorial, as you'll see there are five videos out there. Um, these have been a little bit challenging. I'm not really the greatest at video editing, and if you've watched any of my tutorials, you know I don't edit them. I just do them in one shot and throw them up there. Um, and that's not true. Sometimes that one video takes 30 or 40 tries before I get it, just because I'm not a huge fan of video editing. But I digress. These are for Cute Studios, and there's a lot of uh, video editing, a lot of production that goes into these. And they're pretty time consuming, but I'm actually pretty proud of them. Um, I'm hoping we get some more up there very soon. Been working with them, and I've got a good feeling about that. Um, also, I've been really working on my channel, trying to clean it up a bit. Um, admittedly, this was just a side project that mushroomed out of control. So I'm just going back on the backside and cleaning up a lot of garbage that I'd just thrown up there initially. And um, the Void Drums Facebook group has really just exploded. I'm just amazed at how big this thing's gotten. Um, I get tons and tons of questions and answers in there, and I'm constantly in there asking questions myself for things that I can't figure out, and people are answering me in real time. It's just really cool, uh, because Google only does so much, and Google, let's face it, is just a search engine, but it's great to get real-time feedback, and you can actually you know, like post your code on, on Pastebin or GitHub, and then have somebody who actually download it and run it and say, oh no, the problem's online, whatever. Um, the other thing I've been doing is actually moving all the code up into GitHub. This has been a lot of my time right here. You can see I have 468 repositories, and wow, Flutter is actually beating cute as far as stars. That's kind of crazy. Um, so all the original code that I said, you know, visit voidrealms.com, blah, 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 is actually now out on GitHub. So when you go out here and you click tutorials, you'll see there's just a link to GitHub. Um, doing so is a bit of a double-edged sword. Um, the main reason to channel traffic into my website was to, you know, you guessed it, ask for donations. You know, the hot site's 100% funded by your donations. So now that all that traffic's going to GitHub instead of my website, all the donations stopped coming in. So it's hard for me to pay the bills on that website. So I was reviewing some other user feedback and a couple people had some ideas and they said, listen, I love your videos, but I get nothing out of them career-wise. And I said, what do you mean by that? I was really puzzled what they meant by that because I thought my videos were actually pretty good. And they said, I can't walk into a job interview and say, hey, I watched some guy's programming tutorials out on YouTube. I just watched a bunch of videos. Can you make an official set of classes? So that's really what also I've been working on in my spare time here is out on Udemy.com. I am setting up some classes and you can see I have started with Dart. I've got uh, just ignore this value investing in stocks. It's just something I threw together to figure out how Udemy worked. But uh, I have Dart for Beginners, which, holy crap, that's a bestseller already. I literally just put that up not too long ago. Um, that just threw me way off. <laughs> so there's Dart for Beginners, Intermediate and Advanced. And it's kind of the structure that I want to follow here. So this is like an official classroom setting where somebody will actually say, you know, I learned programming because I took a class on Udemy rather than I just watched some guy's videos. So it actually has, like, let me just jump into some, one of these things here. It's got actual content and structure to it, like a classroom would with quizzes and assignments and things like that. And I want to go through every language and do these sets of beginner, intermediate, and advanced, you know, from, you know, Dart to Python, C Sharp, um, C++ and Qt, obviously. Um, Java, you name it. I mean, every language, I just kind of want to revisit and do actual classroom settings for that. Now, the thing with Udemy is I am charging money for these, but what I've been doing is going out into forums and news groups and um, official channels and chat rooms, um, including like the Void Realms Facebook group and the official Flutter and Dart channels and posting links for like a hundred or a thousand free coupons so people don't have to pay for the classes. Um, and it's gotten well, apparently a lot of good feedback because it's already a bestseller. I don't know how it's a bestseller when I've been giving it away for free. That's kind of weird. But uh, uh, just anyways, just wanted to drop a note, let everybody know what I've been working on. No, I'm not shifting away from YouTube into Udemy. I'm going to be doing both. Um, the YouTube videos are going to be kind of what you guys have 
been watching where they're just raw, filtered, unedited, just me blabbling into a microphone for 15 or 20 minutes where the Udemy ones are going to be kind of more structured and more of a classroom setting designed to help somebody actually get a job. Um, and, you know, I've got a couple other side projects too that I'm not just ready to disclose just yet, but I'm getting there. But that's it. Uh, leave me some comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I just get so busy. It's hard to keep up. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you guys got any ideas for tutorials either on Udemy or YouTube.